Hey guys, today on our Zulu Tech, we're just going to be finishing up the how to make your own blog and form. This is part three, and in this part, we're going to be redirecting all the traffic to our websites uh, from the blog and form, and making a couple code changes to remove the ads down here. And then if you want the uh, topic view, which can kind of script the hierarchy, and the little control link that'll appear in the blog and form. Now to start, let's go ahead and redirect the traffic. Now to do this, click publish. You have to publish your website before you try and redirect anything. So go to your published website, go to the form, and go to options here. You probably need to log in again. Go to embedding options. And now you see here we have a couple options we have. Um, by default, it'll be said to this, you wanna click redirect them to and then it should say something along the lines of your website's address. Now make sure you have that checked, uh, this little thing, and click Save Changes. Now that you've done that, repeat the same thing for the blog. And options, embedding options, redirect. All right. Now um, something to keep in mind is that if you try to link to something from your, um, uh, let's go to forum. I'll show you what I mean. If you try to link to, say, a post or a category on your website that's uh, coming from your form right here, uh, most people will say, you know, just copy this link. They post it in a post and they say, you know, put this in your web address and paste and go. Well, it doesn't work like that with Navel. Uh, with Navel, you have to click permalink, copy the permalink, and then you have to paste it in. And that'll take you. Um, back to where you were trying to link to. So just remember you have to use the permalink instead of your address bar to link to anything in your blog or your form. Because, uh, I mean, it took me a while to realize that, but when I did, uh, it made a lot more sense. So just remember that permalink thing is your friend and you have to use it instead of using your address bar to link to things. All right, now we can exit out of these since we've redirected our traffic and now we're going to go to the control page on your website or whatever you have as the leading hierarchy kind of thing. So for us, it's our control page since everything else is hosted on the control page. Um, so go to that page and go to edit this page. The first thing we're going to do is remove the ads. Now click on this little button here and click search macros. Type in show under slash ad, then push search. Click on the first result and click edit this override. Now I've already changed the code here but um, if you're reading this little disclaimer in fact that shows it down here as well uh, just disregard this there's no way they can police it uh, they will they won't delete it um, I mean I'm, I'm very very certain that it's no risk to you just to remove the ads because there's no way that they can find out I've done this on my own website and for several months now nothing has happened just ignore it alright so every code uh, all the code in this uh, box here, delete it all. You have to push delete, by the way, not the backspace, delete. So delete everything in here. Then in the link in the description, there are three links. The first one, if you click, will open up uh, the code I have right here. Now copy that code and paste it into this box. Once you've done that, go ahead and click save changes and that will remove the ads. So what you've done here is you've just put the code in that I uh, modified. So. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to control. Now, um, if it still says trial period ends in 28 days, just ignore that because when this goes away, uh, there are going to be no ads and it'll just show nothing down there. So we've removed the ads. All right, good. And now what we're going to want to do is go back to edit this page. Uh, we're going to be removing the uh, topics view. Uh, because that can screw up the hierarchy, so I would recommend you remove it. Um, go ahead and click the gear again, search macros, and type in view category page with the under slashes. Search that, click on the first result, edit the macro, and just highlight everything in here and delete it. Now you have to go to the second link in the description and copy the code that appears when you open that up. So after you've copied that code, paste it into this blank box and click Save Changes. That will remove the topics view uh, from 
our uh, blog and form, which can uh, avoid any weird hierarchy problems. Now that you've done that, go ahead, if you have a control page, that is, go back to the gear, click search macros, and type in node, whoops, control Z, uh, node under slash breadcrumbs. I'll just type it in here, node under slash breadcrumbs. Now, you can click on this. This is only for if you made a control page. Now, um, what this does is there's a link. See this control link that appears in your blog and your form, and it doesn't need to be there because the other people on your website don't need to go to the control page. And all of this does is it removes that link. Now, um, you should have the control page still on your website, just hidden from navigation and search engines. So what you're going to do is just override the macro like before, delete everything in here, and paste in the new code from the third link in the description. Just open that up, copy the code from that, and paste it in. Save changes, and now if you go back to control, uh, you see the topics view. Uh, yeah, topic view is removed, and now let's go to our form. Uh, same thing with the blog. The um, the link to control is missing now, thank goodness. Now people don't stumble into that. And the topic view is gone once again. Same thing with the blog. And remember to use permalink to uh, link to anything on your blog and form. Now, that concludes this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I hope it wasn't too complicated. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask me uh, in, the, in the comments or just send me a message. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just be sure to ask me because I can clarify that up for you. And, you know, please... Uh, thumbs up, you know, rate this video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you guys next time.